Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tayam Real. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. The face cam is lagging for some reason, at least on my side. Hopefully, it actually records properly. If it doesn't, I'm just going to disable it. And anyway, you are welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV with Elliot Rose Petal. Let's go ahead and give everybody up. Oh, not a nice, not sprint, but nice warm welcome. There you go. Alright, so let's turn on our Fist of Earth buff so we can have that on at any moment. Actually, let's move it over to this side. There we go, that'll work. So I can just kind of stand dance with it, start to my affiliate, and begin our adventure. Yes, Tataru is as ready to express her fright as she is to express everything else. Not all of us are forged on the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family, and it pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow. One by one, the people of Eorzea are beginning to unite Elliot, uh, to unite Elliot, drawn to the hope that shines within you. Sorry, I had to start the timer on my keyboard anyway. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. Never have a doubt they are as Asians control what is it? what did you say? God, missed that out. I'm real sorry. Is that a vent? There we go, yeah. Yet as darkness uh, threatens to engulf this light, never have I doubted the Asians' presence. But that they have grown so brazen as to carry out the work in plain sight fills me with a sense of deep foreboding. There we go, so I don't have to skip out on dialogue. Back from the woods, achievement unlocked. How do we access achievements again? I have no idea. Uh, is it... Logs? No, it's not logs. Duty? No, it's not that. It's probably social. It's not social either. Party? No, travel? Character. It has to be character, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, achievements, achievements, achievements. There we go. How many achievements do I have on this character? Total points, 140. And back from the woods, complete the main scenario for the back from the woods. Gotcha. Alright, let's begin the next mission with Mephilia. Manfilia would have you investigate the mysterious La Brea. We can do that, certainly. I'm afraid there's no rest to the weary, Elliot. Uh, Elliot. Er. We must deliver further, uh, delve further into the motivations of the masked man, the Asian known as La Brea. This is an ideal moment to do so, while our hands are not bound dealing with another primal. At present, we know little and less about the Asians, only that destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that racks the realm. If my, if my fears prove to be reality, we must do all in our power to stop them. Earlier, I sent word to each grand company to solicit cooperation. The immortal flames responded to the effect they have information on a potential sighting. This is intelligence we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with Flame Commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Uda to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I'll leave the holy to your discretion. But whatever you do, make f uh, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many precautions. Be safe, Elliot. And that's what we're gonna do. Da -da 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 -da. And begin the quest line. Alright. So we have to speak with Swift at the Hall of Flames. I believe the Hall of Flames is in order. Let me just double check. Yeah, order steps are not. Let me go and select this. Let's just fast travel there and talk to the flames. Regarding the flames, I'm not sure if any of you do PvP out there, but I'm thinking of switching over to the flames as my grand comp. Wait, for my main character. We already have Elliot as our, you know, as our flame for this Let's Play, but as my main character, I picked the Serpents, and it seems like... Serpents have a fast queue, but very little chance or no chance in PvP. I know the PvP in the game is not the best, but I still like to, you know, do something in between exploring the new patch. By the way, a new patch came out, patch 3.1, so if you have not got to explore that, uh, you should do so and experience all the new stuff that I got. I'll be making videos on it on my main character, but for this, for now, we're just going to be continuing with the main story of 4, Elliot. Okay. The masked man? Ah, you come on behalf of the science, of, of course. Yes, I've already relayed the, to Lady Manfilia there have been the sighting of this rogue near about eastern Thanalan. A brass blade stationed at Highbridge described him in detail when he alerted us to suspicious activity. I'd point you to the witness, but I'm afraid he died not two days ago. Wow, that sucks. Slain by the marauding horde of Kakern. Fate can be a cruel mistress. But do not be too quick to despair. Being situated on a trade route, Highbridge sees its fair share of travelers. Folks are always coming and going, and some among them may have caught a glimpse of your target. You could do worse. Uh, you could do worse than to speak with a merchant named Hihibaru. 
the fellows always starve for customers, and yet no doubt welcome your attention, whether or not you have coin or mind to spend it. Alright, so that's where we begin this. Shadow of the Darkness, let's see. Visit Hihipar, Eastern Thailand. Okay, this is on High Bridge. So let's go ahead and fast over to Camp Drybone, and then we'll ride over there on our trusty Chocobo Steed, and uh, we'll start investigating and doing a little snooping around and stuff. Well, not snooping, we're trying to figure out what the hell happened. The ASEANs. The game starts to starts off by saying that they're a big threat. It doesn't really tell you exactly what they're out to do because nobody knows. You know, nothing. Nobody can predict exactly what they're gonna do at all. So you kind of just learn a little bit more about them as you continue, and then I'm just waiting for like all the juicy parts to come out when we start seeing what assassins really come up with, and oh, it's gonna get so good. You're gonna love it. But for now, like it, it kind of gives you like, a little taste. Hey, Asians are kind of bad. They are pretty powerful because, as we saw in the last dungeon that we did, they were able to turn to a spider into some weird scorpion creature and give it dark shadow abilities, and then harvest more dark scorpions within the one dungeon. Let me remind, let me uh, remind myself of what is it called? Thousand Miles of Total Rock. There we go. Which I don't really know much about this place. I know. Let's see, named after the man-eating creature from. Uh, Pajali folklore, the Thousand Moors of Total Rock, was built on a site of natural cave systems beneath Sound Arbor. Okay, so it's just natural cave systems. Until recently, it held all of Gridania's foulest criminals, from arsonists to poachers. But the completion of the new Gao closer to the city held its abandonment. Okay, so it used to be a excuse me, a prison or an asylum. See, I like this kind of flavor text. It tells us more about the dungeons. Tells exactly its you know its uh, I guess origins yeah, how, how it came around to be what's its like presence what is what is its importance in the world of yours i don't like that not a lot of dungeons really have that kind of lore behind you, you gotta like wikipedia it or see you know fan theories of it but right then and there it tells you hey look here's a description of how this thing belongs to the lore of the game i don't like that doesn't make you peel away from you know what's going on in game and kind of let you just like see everything from in game which is lovely Anyway, we met up with Hihibaro, and we got also a bunch of side quests we can grab around here, which we should probably should take them, I think. Uh, welcome to High Bridge Adventure. Whatever you seek, I, Hihibaro, can provide it. Probably. You're after a masked man? Hmm. I'm not sure I have one of those in stock. <laughs> oh, you're after a masked man. Why didn't you say so sooner? Such an individual might have featured in one of the many rumors I've heard. If so, linger a while, mayhap you will earn a thing or two, eh? See, this is a level 24 quest, we're currently level 27, so... We really sh don't need to do side quests, but I might wanna, because I wanna level up to level 30 and get our job. It's gonna begin. Hibaru wants to help you find La Brea. Maybe. That's a catch. <laughs> Clearly it's a catch. He's a businessman, he's not gonna just give us, give us away rumors and trade secrets just like that. When the Order of Nalthal began excavating the ruins below, I had hopes that Highbridge would turn into a bustling hub for pilgrims. But thanks to the nigh endless beastmen raiding, folk are too afraid to come within a mom of here. I sold everything I owned to get my venture started, and I'm loath to give up without making an earnest effort to stick it out. But if things keep going as they are, I'll be bankrupt before the moon is though. Uh, winding won't do me any good though. Now, for my business to survive, I need business. Speaking of which, perhaps you would like to brass my wares. Spend a bit of coin to help a struggling merchant. The masked man? Bah! That'll take your bloody masked man. I know what I said before, but vague rumors are all I've got. If you want to know about him, go ask the other merchants. <sighs> what? Does he have anything we can trade? Harbridge was meant to become the next Emerald Adventure. Nope, he has nothing to trade. So, he Hibaru is pretty useless. I was gonna buy something. I mean, we got like 51,000 guild to spend. I know it's not a lot, but it's something. I could easily sell it. And we should probably turn in some MGP and play some of the fun minigames at the Golden Saucer. I got to try some of them out, and they're actually very entertaining. <laughs> I'm probably gonna blow all my kill on them, but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. Absolute minor merchant. On trail of a masked man? I heard of him, but only in hushed tones and faint whispers. It said he was a black hooded robe, and looks right suspicious, and that's about all I can say. Little thought it is. Okay. 
<sighs> Nobody's useful here. Oh, we got a shop over here. We could probably see what how's my gear doing? Durability, durability. Oh, I could probably repair some of it. Let's see, armor mender. Does one of you repair by any chance? Nope, you don't repair. What about you? Nope, a little too far away from him. Can we not talk to him? I guess not. I guess he just doesn't want to talk. <laughs> Maybe he got something against Caracals, who knows. Uh, impassive merchant. I haven't seen a masked man wearing a dark robe. No, I haven't. Nor do I wish to. Business is bad enough with shady characters lurking about. Oh, without shady characters lurking about. Folk have been given high bridge a wide berth because of all the cocoon raids. None but the most devout of pilgrims are willing to come here anymore. Yep, yeah, that sucks. Ah, well, maybe we could deal with the cocoon problem, if possible. If that's even, you know, a possibility. And make this town all bustling again and happy and prosperous. That could be a possibility. But who knows? Let's go to, to the last merchant over here. I am betting my bottom dollar that this this merchant is gonna tell us what we need and possibly repair our gear if if able at all whatsoever. I heard of the masked devil. Seems like he'd been appearing not only around Highbridge but elsewhere around Thangland too. Enough folk have reported seeing him to convince me he is more than a figment a figment of the imagination, but little is known about him otherwise. Ah, well, that was so useful. <laughs> so useful. I gotta turn in a quest over here. Hello, Hatali. Oh, it's for a dungeon that I can unlock and do later. Yeah, I could do that. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a requirement at any point to do the dungeon, but we can still at least attune to it and open it up. Judging by your expression, I take it you didn't learn much of use. Eh, it's... I learned a little. Not too good, though. Look, I'm sorry for my rudeness earlier. It's just that things are tough for us merchants at the moment. The cocoon raids are so constant, so organized, we're beginning to suspect that somebody is orchestrating it all. Well, that could be a possibility. And somebody will ride by on a horse. How does this game have horses? I've never seen horse. I don't even know where you can get a horse in this game. <laughs> like, the most common mount here is a chocobo, but that's the first time I see... I rarely see people riding horses, but when I do, I can't say Marvel, because all I say is chocobos. That's like that's the that's the horses of this game, so a horse is really rare. <laughs> I want to get one. I tend to put my own welfare first, like most of us do, but that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I promise to keep an eye out for your masked man. If I see or hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Sweet, appreciate that. And he got another quest for us. It has information that may well lead you to La Habrea. Sweet. Ah, the, investig uh, the investigative adventurer. Are you still on a trail of the masked man by any chance? I happen to remember something and would share it with you. You recall my telling you how the Cocurn had been raiding Highbridge nigh without seas. Well, there is a rumor that the filthy rats have been meeting with a great hulk of a man in secret. While I can't say where it is, it is a mystery fellow. Oh. <laughs> While I can't say whether this is the mystery fellow you seek, I reckon it's good as lead as any other. According to witnesses, the rendezvous takes place in a cocoon lair located southeast of here. If you go there, perhaps you'll come upon some kind of clue. Be careful though, the nasty buggers don't take kindly to visitors. That's fine, you know who they can say hello to? My fists. Yeah, we're all powerful and badass and everything. We just gotta get a job now. <laughs> Being a monk would be really epic. Because that will allow us to grow the character further and develop cool looking abilities, like even cooler abilities than we have now. I mean, what we got here right now is just a bunch of fist fighting, but later we'll be doing fist fighting with like, more monk style to it. Actually, I have no idea what monk is like. <laughs> I'm just talking out of my ass here, but I have no clue what the monk class is going to be like. I'm excited to see what it's going to be like, but if somebody were to be like, hey, what's monk like? I'm like, ah, uh, fist fighting. Because that's all I know. Oh god, there's so many of them here. Well, that sucks. We're just pulling all of them all together. Ah, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. Let's go ahead and make him go over here. Okay, one of them. Nope, they're all abandoned. They all got bored. Good. Uh, what's the best way? I want to get past all of them without pulling any of them, really. Or pulling as little of them as possible. There we go. Let's go hide behind the table here. And we got a letter. Undecipherable letter. Okay, we got that. 
And they're gonna make us come back. Yeah, that's wonderful. Hey, buddy. Let me go ahead and take care of him real quick. Oop. Ah, we'll pull another one. Wonderful. Just what I need. And let's heal up. Oh god. Come on, ain't got all day for you. Just go ahead and follow up real quick. That's all you need to thank you, appreciate that. To crush your enemies, level three. I got another achievement. Let's see you. Uh let's go ahead and check that out. Achievement, achievement, achievement. There we go. Uh what does this one do? We defeat a thousand enemies. Wow, we've killed that many. <laughs> well then, I guess you know when the time flies and time sure flies when you're running around punching enemies to death, right? <laughs> Damn, that's a that's quite a kill streak there. That's pretty impressive. All right, so regarding, I kind of want to go through some of the gear that I have. I feel like I'm lacking on gear because. I don't know, part of me feels like I don't have the best equipment equipped because I'm not doing the most damage. Maybe I haven't really... I'm gonna move this stuff over here since it's a bonus. i move this stuff down here. I feel like I might be missing out on some of the important pieces that I could be wearing right now. Maybe I should go by a merchant or something and see if they have anything for me. I feel like I'm doing less damage. That's pretty much my concern. I feel like I'm doing a lot less damage. Uh, let's put all the fancy stuff away here. There we go. Yeah, I should probably go buy, like, I don't know, some sort of a merchant. Some kind of an armor smith that can offer me gear. Because, let's see, uh, level 18, 17. I need more rings. I remember, I know my bard has a lot more rings. Like, he, my bard has, like, an overload of rings, which is ridiculous. I don't know how many I was able to collect any of those rings at all, but... <laughs> Apparently, I just got... Just jewelry coming out of my purse, really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what will be a proper saying for this. Uh, Chataman, do you have... Uh, I wonder if he has anything for gear. Or anything gear related. Uh, Iron Sand, Ragstone, Sophimer. Nope, he has nothing. Wow, but those, those materials though. Iron Sand and Ragstone and Salt Femur. Everybody wants uh, bone, right? And uh, Muddy Water. <laughs> Wow, you know what? I feel like they are not making money here at Highbridge. Not because of the attacks, but because they got nothing good to sell. Because for somebody, for like, let's say, a bridge town with merchants and things to sell, they only have one shop available. That's it. Nobody else wants to sell me anything. They don't like us something, or maybe the bidder is like, oh, he doesn't want to buy our goods. Let's just not sell to her or something. I don't know. So, did you end up investigating the Cocoon Lair? Uh, yeah, we did. We found an undecipherable letter. At least you think it's a letter. As you cannot decipher the writings, there's always a possibility that it could be something completely different. A letter you can't make read or tales or head or tales of. Let me see here. Hmm. This is written in Almaj in Almalik. I guess in Amalek. You're in luck. It just so happens I learned a spot of it back in the day. So as to expand my potential clientele. Seems the content pertains to Whoa, people trafficking? Ooh, wow, that actually escalated really quick there. Gods be, uh, gods be good. If I'm reading this right, the Kakurin are trying to strike a deal with the Amajal. They mean to catch helpless souls at Highbridge and sell them off like sacks of potatoes. Potatoes, you mean? Potatoes? I guess I don't know. <laughs> to think that different tribe of beastmen are colliding in the villainly, I must warn everyone to maintain vigilance. Yoma, thanks, adventurer. Had you not braved the cocoon lair, no one here would have known what the creatures were plotting until they actually began picking us off one by one. On the other hand, I suppose this means you're no closer to finding your man. Well, unless it's an Amaja you're looking for, but uh, probably not, huh? Nope. We need a person with a mask, and his name is La Habrea. Oh, wait. Mm. No, this is not much of an upgrade. I feel like I just need to go to like a store or something. I need to get to level 25, 29, or 30 and just re up, just re gear myself completely. <laughs> I finally got some honest to god information on your masked man. This time is the real thing, I swear. Why so confident? Because I saw him with my own two eyes. Oh, well, finally we got something. I was out on. And that person. 
That person again, riding on a horse. I was out for an evening stroll, minding my own business, when I noticed a column of smoke rising from a cliff over at Thal's respite. <clears throat> curious, I thought myself, there has to be a... Uh, <laughs> curious, I took myself there to find a masked man. Your masked man. I'm sure of it. Standing by a fire. As if in answer, some Kukurin appeared soon after, and the group began talking at length. I'm afraid I was too far out of the earshot to hear much of anything. After the group has dispersed, an idea came to me. If you were to use this smoldering coal to start a fire, you might be able to arrange a similar meeting. You'd be dangerous. I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't doubt, but you've proven yourself more than a match for a pack of rats. So what do you think? That's some sound, reliable information, even if I do say so myself. Well worth all the lingering about what you've been doing, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Where there is smoke, so what do we gotta go for? 